There's the cat cleaning herself. That means it's time for a video. Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and uh, I'm being kind of lazy today, and I'm re-releasing a, a video segment that I did for Al over at Iconic Baseball. Um, Al asked me to collaborate with him on his Cy Young video, which he did for his Iconic Baseball Top 100 series, which is really awesome, by the way. You should totally check it out if you haven't already. So I painted this Cy Young piece, and I really, really liked how it came out, and I wanted to show it off on my channel, too, because... I'm a big show off. Um, anyway, enjoy. Unless you've seen this already, then by all means, go find a better video to watch. Maybe over there at Iconic Baseball. Welcome back to Iconic Baseball. I'm Iconic Al. It is with great pride that I bring you the top three. This is my list of the 100 greatest and most iconic ball players in baseball history. And this represents an important plateau for me. Um, if you exclude Barry Bonds, who we've discussed, you have to adjust down to about 128 war. There are only five players in baseball history. Hello? Hey, Al? Hey, it's your bestie, Scott. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know you're in the middle of doing your Cy Young video. Yeah, I just got really excited and I had to call you. Hey, look, you know Cy's my guy, right? But, uh... You, you started rambling on again about stats and advanced metrics and war and all that stuff. And quite frankly, you're kind of putting me to sleep. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, I, I was wondering if you would like me to help you out and hop on and uh, show off my Cy Young collection. Yeah? Awesome. Hey, I won't let you down, man. All right, cool. Hey, superstars, it's Al's best friend, Scott. You know, I promised to do this, but then I realized that I only have two Cy Young cards. I'm an artist and artists are, well, poor and uh, Cy Young cards aren't exactly cheap, but I am proud of what I got. He's got three cards in the T206 set and I have two of them, including this pitching pose and then my most favorite card in the whole wide world, the T206 portrait. I love the green, I love the portrait, and I love that I drew a bunch of commissions to earn the money to buy this. I'm just so excited to own this guy. Another fun piece I have is this press photo from Cy's 80th birthday party. He's signing a contract presented to him by another legend, Cleveland Indians owner Bill Veck. And, uh, well, I guess that didn't take very long, did it? I could talk about the stuff that I'd like to own eventually. I'd love to get my hands on a Cy Young autograph and the T206 Milkman. Oh, and the T205 Gold Border. Hey, that gives me an idea. Let's just move this stuff out of the way. All right. Like I said, I'm an artist, right? So I can just create any Cy Young piece that I want. So that's what we'll do. And while we're doing that, I'll talk a little bit about the man. Um, I think first and foremost, my fascination with him stems from the fact that he lived just about an hour south of me in Newcomerstown, Ohio. He was a farm boy with a sixth grade education who raised chicken and sheep and hogs. And he absolutely loved baseball. And on top of winning more games than anyone else in baseball history, he also lost more games. So maybe he didn't have the dominance of like Walter Johnson or Christy Mathewson, but he was an even-tempered workhorse, a real man's man, and just an absolute model of consistency who became a baseball idol. Cy debuted for the Cleveland Spiders in 1890 at the age of 23 after his contract was bought out from the uh, Canton, Ohio minor league team. His first game was against Cap Anson's Chicago Colts, and before the game, Anson dismissed Cy as some big dumb farm boy. Cy then proceeded to beat the Colts 8-1, giving up only three hits in his major league debut. In his early years, Cy threw as hard as anyone in the game, and despite losing that speed on his fastball as he got older, he developed excellent control and mastery of his nifty arsenal of pitches that allowed him to pitch effectively well into his 40s. He attributed his longevity and success to his personal five rules of conduct. One, be moderate in all things. Two, don't abuse yourself. Three, don't bait umpires. Four, play hard. And five, render faithful service to your employer. Cy retired when he was 45. I guess he was having some arm issues, but I also read that he claimed that he could have kept throwing. He said he was just unable to field his position effectively and that he was essentially bunted out of baseball.
Hey, look at that, we're done already. I'm loving how this came out. It's an image of an old master, a real hardworking gentleman, and a baseball icon. Thanks, Al, for inspiring this piece and for having me take part in your countdown. What a great way to collect and showcase that collection. I am honored to play a little part in that and maybe a little sad that it's almost over, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what else you have in store for us.